Hi everyone, welcome back to Load Runner Advanced Training Sessions. Today we will be discussing about remaining uh, part of in Load Runner Analysis. So last time I shared the Load Runner file, now it will be a LRA file. Go and search here and you will see LRA file. Click on that. So it will open. Meanwhile, let me open workload model. it yeah it is opening load on our results yeah so this let me close it so let it load so So it is loading all the graphs. So here, uh, let me add few more graphs, so which are important. So go to here, add graph, and transaction, under transaction, total transaction response transactions per second total transactions per second what is this two all is all about so let's go to this excel sheet so this is the scenario we executed with 10 users total expected tps per hour is 200 and these two are to identify the paging calculation this you know it is straightforward calculation total transactions per hour is 200 if you make 2000 divided by 300 600 it's 3600 then you will get TPS one transaction per second then you will calculate total TPS into number of iterations let's say you have uh, sorry, not number of iterations number of transactions in your state if you have three transactions then multiply that number into three in our case we have three transactions right you are a login log off so that is the reason I calculated with uh, three so I got uh, total TPS per second so now we have to achieve one transaction 0 0.55 seconds let's go ahead and see how many we achieved if you see average we achieved 0 0.60 that is better so that is always the tps whatever we got from uh, stakeholders it should be always greater than what they have provided so in this case it is very good we got all six zeros and if you see total tps it will be sum of all three that means 6 3 is a 180 if you see here the TPS will be 180 yeah so this is what we have to look for so this is all about TPS details these are also very very important then go ahead and uh, do another part ok let me report, delete this this I have added so here uh, let me add SLA configuration SLAs you can do two ways I think uh, here somewhere we will be having uh, I think under tools yeah generate SLA rules or you can click here also this both same ok either way you can do let me add SLAs here how to add it click on that wizard click on new click next and uh, just give a percentage or a average whichever values you are interested I am interested on average values and uh, let's select all the values double click on this automatically it will move there ok next here I want to compare these response times with running users so just uh, go next sorry before this here you have to either enter individually how you want or if you want uh, all together if it is same value you can mention here so uh, let's give 3 3 ok so apply to all now you can change these values I want this one to be 3 1 3 2 3 3 like that likewise also you can give ok so we can change all these values and it will monitor these values every second during the test so click on finish button and click on close it will apply automatically to these values what it does is it will go to raw data and it will see all the values and it will apply see the percentage of degradation failure ratio ratio 
then you can see each uh, transaction at each level each testing time what is the time it did not meet at this point it did not meet at this point it did not meet every 5 minutes or 3 minutes it did not meet the SLA if you click on uh, analyze transaction it will show you what exactly causing that issue to not achieve that TPS it is uh, opening see if you see here it is saying false page false most of the time it is saying discrete times and discrete times if you go here so last time I showed you how to add uh, CPU let me show you one more thing here I think uh, let me delete this I will show you from starting let's go and add windows resources go here and add new graph so under system resources add windows resources graph so once you add windows resource graph you will get all different kinds of uh, data right so click uh, here and I want to add only CPU related just uh, rename it to CPU utilization ok so here go ahead and change these values to CPU so only add CPU related CPU related nothing but process time and ideal time for now I am more interested on processor time and ideal time just I will add only those two and same way you can duplicate this one just duplicate this graph rather than adding you can just duplicate it and change it to CPU to memory just change memory memory utilization and here again go filter just uncheck these values and add only memory related you know right available and bytes all uh, memory committed bytes for now add only this two if you want uh, more interested and even you can add phase files phase reads and all we can discuss later videos what is this all details in depth what is phases per second what details how the values should be see these are the uh, memory utilization if you want to add disk same way you can just duplicate this and uh, instead of memory just change to disk so disk utilization go here and set filters just add disk related uncheck this and add all disk related matrix ok so you can see even disk if you have anything you can add ok so this way we can add all the disk related uh, values you can do network also same way you can duplicate and you can do if you see here during this time we see lot of uh, uh, high utilization on disk level that means more data is reading from the disk and writing to the disk so that is the reason in uh, report it is showing all related to disk issue it is disk related issue that is the reason we did not achieve the response times even if you see response times during that particular time we have very high response times so I think we can go to load on our average response time graph and we can see here yeah I think that also has some issue let me go on and add the first one mm. so our response time graph ok if you see here this particular time we have a little high response time right that is the reason for that ok so that way you can do that uh, mm, what is that so SLS you can do that ok this is all about uh, adding all the graphs and uh, not doing uh, SLS and adding graphs deleting graphs and uh, doing stuff ok and let's, let's go ahead and do few more things go to file you have few options here so here if you want to see runtime settings for your uh, scenarios then you can go ahead here and you can view what runtime settings I have given in controller so this is one more way we can check sometimes in interview they may ask you uh, is there any way we can uh, check runtime settings in uh, this analysis yes you go to file and view runtime settings it will show you see I have only one scenario that scenario has these runtime settings ok even you can view script and view schedule and so you can do many things here 
and there is one more beautiful option let's say what happened so let's go to file and um, yeah cross with results this cross with results what it does is you can uh, compare always two load runner results two or three or any a number of load tests let's say I have run two same exact tests two times and I want to compare both the response times then there is a best option cross results you can add them and you can compare them so let me add my same test again and uh, let me go to Kaushik app data under the app data we have local under local we have temp under temp we have load test load test I think I gave one two three something like that last time so let's see let's go as a details so yeah we have this one right so just add this one see we have to two load tests and just click on ok button create new analysis session for this one so what it does is it will create new analysis session and it will open it uh, for us ok it will close this existing one and it opens brand new one ok so let it load meanwhile I will go ahead and open our old one as well so that I can explain you few more features here as well so go here and open it meanwhile let's see whether it is opening or not still it is loading so yeah now both started loading Yeah, this is a class results one let's go ahead and view this one see this is old test this is new test but you, how you can identify is based on the name test name and duration and duration time and what is the number of users you are running here and how many total TPS hits you can see how many transactions passed failed you can compare each transaction wise e even you can see running users how many users in this test how many throughput in this test and what is the throughput in this test what is the response times in this test and what is the response in this, this test like that you can compare all the details here as well so this way we can get uh, all the details in cross test results yeah that is all about cross test results now let's go ahead and uh, go with another option this is print option nothing this is session information this is just global filter that is nothing but this one this is nothing but set global filter that is the feature available here as well ok delete current session and save save as open existing results new this is edit edit is nothing but clipboard add data graph and all we are using to do right like uh, go here and you will do add to clipboard right so same thing here you can just do copy clipboard graph and all you can do and view is nothing but same thing whatever you are showing this data that is nothing but this view and graphs you whatever you are doing here right same thing it will be under graph yeah reports we have beautiful reports different types of reports let me go ahead and show you html report html report you can get it in two places either you click here or go to reports and you can do html report HTML report what it does is whatever data it is showing it will show you in the HTML form so let's go ahead and do in desktop ok let's click on HTML it will generate the HTML report so now it is generating HTML report let it complete it is 8 percent and uh, yeah let it load yeah so this is a cross test results report so I am going to yeah I don't want to close this one let it be I will show you few more options so yeah wait for some more time let it generate then I can show you same thing you will see in the HTML report wise 
so if you want to send this lr file to client it will be very difficult it is big file if you want to send very simple file you can send this html file so that is the reason i am uh, just showing you guys if you want to sh share this html reports with your stakeholders then go ahead and generate your html report and you can see them some reason it is not loading okay so i can go ahead and open that just click on this html it will open for you see this is the report.html see here this is summary report i think i made it zoom very less let's make it little up yeah this will be good see running users and everything whatever you see there it will be showing you all data okay so this way we, uh, you can send this report to clients whenever you are sending HTML reports to clients don't forget you have to send this HTML report to the stakeholders okay so this is uh, one way of easy way if you want to send this you can send to clients and they can open and see the results okay in a very small file now go ahead and see another features what we have we can generate html report and even we can uh, generate different kinds of reports so how to generate go to reports there are report templates already existing reports you just go ahead here apply this which low, which one you want high level report you want cross session cross session means for two tests you want to report so i want high level report just click on generate report you can see under summary one report will come okay with date okay so that report you can get it from HTML uh, different formats pdf or see it is creating report yeah it has created a high level report so this is very in detail report what is the scenario name how much time so you will get very beautiful graph see all graphs business processes and what is the number of users tps running users performance overview how many past transactions failed transactions response times so like that you can add different graphs so here when you do save as you can get in different formats i want pdf format then go to adobe pdf file and just all pages give and click on ok button it will ask you where you want to save let's keep uh, in uh, reports underscore one i will give report one in desktop only okay can't save okay let me go to desktop okay let's go to desktop and we have report one this is the pdf file just right click this and it will open here as a pdf if you see here this is pdf so this pdf we can send to clients oh, come on what happened so this is a very in detail one if you want uh, you can uh, create uh, this report this is high level report that is the reason it doesn't have any details if you want more details you can go for another graph type we have different types of formats so I'll, I'll, always i will say go with uh, pdf that is very easy and if you go to again report template this time let's go to detail report you will get everything whatever you have here right it will give you all the details again one more report will be added here okay that way you can create the detailed report okay see this report will be little different okay so just you go ahead and try different approaches you will see differences and save as html or whatever you, uh, you want then you will get a fair amount of idea what it does what it will explain to you everything okay see whatever you added here it is giving you everything okay so our response time throughput so this is the detailed report whatever you are added it will show you everything here okay so that is the way and if you say save as you have different formats whichever you want you can select you want a rich text file or you want html file you want gif file or whatever image type 
if you want PDF most of them you will use PDF you want PowerPoint also you can select okay likewise you have different files that is all about report okay this is an 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 analyze transaction is nothing but just uh, if you want to analyze any transaction in detail it will give you the details okay so like this what to analyze from which point to which point you want to analyze duration you can give here and you can click on generate report it will generate particular report okay so that is all about uh, analysis report analyze sls is nothing but that is the one if you click analyze sls here it will give you right so uh, that is the one analyze sls okay so that is all about this let it go why it's not going cancel okay now it has gone and let's go to tools yeah in the tools there are something uh, very best features which i like uh, this one i will come to that this is to connect to olm if you have hp olm where you want to store all these uh, reports then you can go and uh, uh, connect to that and you can store that results if you don't want uh, then go if you this is external monitor sometimes you have different monitor data like excel format you can import that data like if you generate some data from the uh, other sources like uh, unix mission you don't have ability to monitor it then you created one file there and you want to export that data to here then you can do import data and you can create a uh, report okay that is one way so this is templates this is very much uh, famous one which i like to use most of the times here what it does is go to templates you create your own template see already i created one load test template here let me go here and make your own template if it is load test give load test one this time i will give load test one click okay save and close or apply to session first save and close what it does is it will save this template whatever graphs you have added here it will be saved under this template now okay load test one will have all these details now you are running one more test why this feature is important is let's say if i go to this report see how many things i have only four reports right by default now if you want to do analysis like this you have to do lot of work right like if you have to add cpu memory disk network like that if you want to do for all of them it will take lot of time right so to reduce that work we can create template whenever you create first time load test go here save them as a load test template whenever you run next time you no need to do all these things manually automatically it will save everything under this load test if you apply it automatically it will comes here now go ahead and uh, apply the template here now i will show you this here if you see here it has only four graphs right now if you want to apply everything whatever this graph is having like this it has to come to this test without doing anything you just has to do go here select this template just click apply to this session that's all it will automatically get all these details and apply here see now it will add everything see whatever you did it is adding so you got it right whatever you do here under graphs every graph will be added in our load test so this way whenever you create your own templates okay it will reduce your work lot of times i i i use most of the times this option because i will run two three load tests sometimes due to some errors i may need to re rerun the test so that time you no need to add again all these graphs manually you just create the template and save it one time and every time uh, next time you just apply the template automatically it will loads for you that is one of the best feature i likes that okay so you can also start uh, doing that okay this is options uh, we won't use much but you want us time zone or whatever time zones and uh, this and all see sometimes your client is uh, very much interested on 95 percentage so if you go here sometimes in some interviews they will ask you there is 90 percentile right uh, they will ask you 
can I make I plant is required 95 percent how do you make it so go to options change this one to 95 percent okay just click ok and apply filter just click see set default also you can set the oh, what happened why it's not okay click ok don't set to default if you set to default it will come to normal uh, value just uh, now what we have to do is you just go and apply the filter and see whether it comes or not so otherwise if it is not coming you have to restart the uh, results then it will come as a 95 percentile so it is not coming right now right so what you have to do is you have to close it and you have to restart it that time automatically it will come as 95 percentile next time okay so if it is 95 percentile right let me close this results okay let me close okay you want to save no i don't want to save now go to report and see the options still you will see 95 percentile right now let me open any one new session okay LRA file okay let me open this still it is 90 percent let me open L LRR file okay so go to C session add data C users right go to users a Kaushik D app data under app data local under local temp under temp we have load test now it will apply this session the 95 percent oil will apply now whenever you open new on LRA file LRR file then only it will apply not LRA file LRA file is already analyzed file so it won't apply to that okay let's see now it should apply now see now we got it 95 percent see whenever you open next time that particular LRR file will have a 95 percent okay like that if you want to change percent go here and change that 95 percent okay so where you want to save the data results you want to store them in separate directory yeah uh, so correlate results let it be always same thing don't change anything okay so database sometimes by default this all data will be stored in ms access sometimes interview they will ask you where your load runner file will store ms access always it will create one mx access database there it will create sometimes your load runner results are very big you are not able to open them by using mx access you can store them in your own server you can create a sql server you can store them in that particular server okay that way also you can do okay so yeah that is one more option you can do okay so this is the way you have to do it okay so yeah this is another options web page diagnostics you how you want analyze so these all are options like what kind of graphs you need so you can select all of them they will come automatically okay so this is uh, all about options and uh, what else you have this is sla configuration i already told you this is general color and all which color you want and uh, those things and this is windows uh, nothing much you can see raw data and all this uh, options you are seeing right lrs session these properties these are all options you will see under windows tab okay so yeah there is one more thing you can, sometimes you want to see errors right whatever errors generated in our test you can see them here controller output message see there are some errors you can click them if you have it will show you otherwise it won't show you anything okay so like that you can see all the errors here as well during the test 
whatever errors you are seeing those can be seen under output controller message so this is all about load runner analysis so you can do everything you can save this is lrr file right once you once you open lrr file it will become lra file if you click on save it will become lra file see already it become lra file now we opened a load runner results right by default as i mentioned it will open with only five reports if you apply the template whatever template you save it will open everything for you let me apply again one more time if you apply this template it will open so all the reports again you no need to do them again manually this is very very best feature always remember there is a option to apply template whenever you do all your uh, graphs you think this is the final report you want to send to client then after completion of this options go here and create your template your own template and click on save and close don't do anything just save and close whenever you open new lrr file simply go here and apply the template it will be under saved name just go here and apply that particular template just click on apply to this session automatically it loads everything for you okay this is the beauty of doing that uh, templating okay so these are all about uh, this load runner uh, session with this we completed all the load runner uh, analysis part i mean load runner analysis means load runner analysis module whatever load runner is provided analysis whatever features it has we completed those features all lr load runner analysis modules features were completed but analysis there that is a version where we can do server side matrix process level matrix and that and all we will discuss in next next upcoming sessions how to monitor servers what kind of web server matrix you want to monitor what kind of app server what kind of database server so i will uh, uh, explain you those details in upcoming sessions for today's session that's all thanks for watching uh, thank you guys thank you very much uh, for your support i am seeing lot of people are liking my videos and sharing and subscribing thank you once again for everyone and i have to tell you one more thing uh, before closing my session uh, let me open notepad mm, if you want anything uh, uh, from uh, doubts wise you can uh, contact me on uh, my mail id uh, uh, yeah otherwise i will do one thing i will i will add these details in my description okay uh, under my video we can find all details like i can give you whatsapp details uh, where you can uh, reach me on the whatsapp number and i can give you my personal mail id if you need any personal training or anything you can reach me on that we can uh, uh, have a batch of 3 4 5 people and we can start uh, online sessions if you need more uh, in depth knowledge on uh, load runner so soon i am going to start jmeter uh, as well because few people are asking me jmeter uh, videos as well so stay tuned for those videos as well so yeah that's all thank you again for everyone uh, for your support uh, for doing this uh, so see you in next session so thank you very much uh, please do subscribe and share with others and uh, look for uh, better videos and analysis going forward and uh, yeah see you soon bye take care